Alright, so here we go with the Riot Shield Shot tutorial. You're going to want to have three classes here. I recommend like the M60, something with a lot of ammo, a Riot Shield, and then a Sniper class. So three classes, you're going to want to have three people anytime you're doing this. It makes it a lot easier. One guy to shoot, one guy to bounce, one guy to die. So I did this tutorial pretty much because when we did the team ties, a lot of people were saying, you know, the Riot Shield Shot was like all luck and it didn't take any skill. But there's actually a lot of, that goes into some of these shots, so this is one that I wanted to share with you guys and show you how to do your own riot shield shots. Maybe not per se here, but uh, you know, just on just a regular map, some map that you of your choosing or whatever. So I've got Mr. Blue and Glader going to be helping me out, and the first thing we're going to show you guys is the uh, angle, the angle of the dangle, baby. The angle that you're going to be using for this uh, riot shield shot that we're showing you, and this is just a 90 degree riot shield shot. So there's Glader. We know everybody comes through there, first blood. Blue's going to be here, lined up with him in the doorway, and I'm going to be over here. So as you can see, we're basically making a 90 degree angle with um, myself, Blue, and then the enemy. So wherever it is you're trying to shoot to, you want to make sure your riot shield is looking in that direction. And your shooter should be off at a 90 degree angle or off to the side of that right shield. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to shoot his right shield just to show you basically that there's multiple angles on this right shield. And you want to use the front right here. You'll see it even better. Uh, if you use the side angle, it's not always going to go in the same place. You want to use that front panel right there anytime you're using a 90 degree shot. So again, that's a 90 degree shot. You can change these and, and modify them if you want. Uh, one thing you always want to make sure is that your right shielder is always looking in the same position and that your sniper is shooting in the exact same spot on the right shield to get the maximum accuracy out of you know each shot because the right shielder will move around and you know those animations will throw the bullets off so if we're in an actual game situation um, again this is a private match but if we're in an actual game situation this is pretty much what it would look like so I go here blue throws the stuns he lines himself up he knows his spot pulls out his right shield and here comes Glader first shot so that's pretty much what it would look like in a game scenario uh, again you know this is a private match so don't send me a bunch of messages saying oh it's set up well clearly this is a tutorial so <laughs> just keep in mind you know like I said that you want your right shielder looking in the direction of the area you want shot and that your shooter bounces off the front of the right shield about midway to start out with and you should be pretty successful. Here's one that we've also been working on if you want to make it more advanced. Uh, Blue's going to be looking in between those barrels and the board. Glader's going to be up there because there's just a drop zone right here. So we kind of made this. This took a little bit longer. This took about an hour. Um, but uh, basically all I'm going to do is show you that it doesn't have to be a sniper rifle even a pistol will show you you know where you're getting the hit markers I got this on minuscule hell so he's gonna die with the first bullet but um, you know that's what we'll do we'll have the right shielder stand wherever you know looking in the direction and then we'll have uh, like myself I'll use like an M60 and just find out where I need to be shooting on the right shield in correlation with uh, you know which direction he's looking and everything else so we're gonna do this one more time and show you what it looks like this time with the sniper rifle instead of a pistol. Like I said, anytime you're starting to practice this, make sure you have three people, the shooter, give them like an M60 or something with a lot of ammo because this may take you a long time to find a spot. But once you get it down, it's pretty easy to do, fairly easy to accomplish, and it looks really good in a montage. So special thanks to Blue and Glader for helping out with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Deuces.